Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm very happy to put everything together and uh, upload this video. A um, couple of weeks ago, I I demoed this project on my LinkedIn page and uh, I was very happy for all the interactions that I got and uh, people were asking me how I got, I, I did it. So it's not um, anything um, extraordinary, it's not difficult. So basically, let's have an overview of the topology. So, you know, basically in setups like um, service provider environments, you have two or three links going to a base station or a pop. So let's, in our case, we have a primary link, which is a fiber link. And then we also have a, a radio link as the secondary backup link. So for some reason, uh, the primary link, let's say is down or there are low power, optical power levels. So we need to switch traffic to the radio link so that the clients can be okay. So. Some time ago, I was working on my production server and um, I figured that this is something I've been using for a very long time, but I actually didn't pay attention to it on Zabbix. So, you know, Zabbix, um, we install Zabbix on a Linux um, OS or a Linux server. So normally when I come to work, what I do is that, or let's say when the link is flapping and I need to check connectivity to uh, the node, or let's say I'm receiving high ICMP response, so I just click on the node and I go to ping and see if I can reach the device or maybe, and as you can see, this, for example, this is unreachable. So let's say, uh, actually, I'm just looking for feedback like this. So I was curious, I wanted to know how actually this thing works. So I was just going through the menu and then I came across um, where these scripts are defined. So when you go to alerts, I think I'm using Zabbix 6.4. I'm not sure. Let's see. 6.4, yes. So when you go to Alex and then you come to scripts, this is where all the scripts are defined. And it's not anything extraordinary if you know um, if you know of your Linux terminal. So basically, these are just Linux commands, which is run on Zabbis, right? So I also figured it out that uh, what if... Okay, so before that, one thing I need to tell you is that... Um, Another hood, this is the same server where Zabbis is installed, right? So I I just sat down and I figured it out that uh, let me create, let me install Ansible, define my parameters and everything. So as you can see, this is the device I'm going to work on. I have the parameters defined, everything over here. And then um, I created a simple um, Ansible playbook. So basically what it does is that, you see, this is the backup link, which is the radio link. So the name of the play is um, Zabbis Auto Switching over backhaul links to P2H, blah, blah. And then the host is the core switch one, which is our main device. And then um, the task here is to switch to the vendor backhaul, switching to vendor backhaul. So let's say we are switching to the, the, the secondary link, right? So basically, I'm just using iOS config, as you can see over here. And I'm just going to the, back, the backup interface, which is ETA2. And I'm saying that, yo, okay, for some reason, um, service providers will like to, I don't know, but um, will like to, will not keep two links active. Let's say if normally when they are between two switches, some others to have different automated mechanisms of doing that. So in the, in this case, let me use this. So the primary link is up and the backup link has been shut down so that when this link goes down, we can just manually shut it down and then enable the backhaul link. So I also figured it out that why don't I create something like a, a simple Ansible playbook, which you go into the interface for in, in scenarios where the primary link goes down, right? When the primary link goes down, then we just shut the interface of the primary link and then we enable the backup link. That's all. So now back on the switch, let's look at something. So show IP interface brief. So as you can see, now the backup link is admin shutdown, okay? So what you are going to do is that, um, I will just go into the topology. So before I, go, before I go, let me explain the script for you. So this is the command which is going to run on the Ansible server. So it's basically going to the home directory for Zabbis. And this is very key. When you are installing Zabbis, you need to make the user Zabbis if you intend to use some of these solutions. The user must be Zabbis. It's very important. I've tried creating uh, other users um, and trying to navigate, but I was having challenges. I didn't really 
um, investigate, but I just moved on. So however, just for simplicity, just create user service, move into the home directory for the user. And this is basically what you're going to run. So as I said, the playbook is here. So this is the playbook. And as you can see, it's the same script over here. So I have my Ansible configuration over here, parameters and everything. And these are dummy ones. And this is the script you're going to run. So when you check from here, it's the same thing, no difference. Good. So what I'll do is that um, I will just click on this link. I don't know if I can freeze it or let's see. Let me delete this link. So let's say in our daily activities at work, let's say the link is down. So let's see if we can receive any alert on Zavis. Let's wait for some time and see if you're going to receive any alerts. This should be down. Let me check from the terminal. Okay, so the link is down. So obviously you're going to receive an alert on Zavis very soon so let me pause the video and then i'll continue when i receive the alert okay so our knock um, support engineers um just told us that um the link is down and as you can see we can see it right here so the link is down and normally people will just log into the switch and just click on um, interface shutdown blah 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 so to automate or orchestrate these kind of activities, we have predefined scripts over here. So basically what I'm going to do is that now that we have the alert on the call switch, so this is the call switch where the script is going to run. I'll just click on the call switch and I'll come to the scripts. Then I'll click on fill over to backup link. So that to take some time for the script to run. So let me bring the terminal alongside to just show you. So, sorry. So let's wait and see if we can get the notification or the trigger. Okay, so as you can see, the script has run successfully. And as you can see, the port two is coming up. The port two is coming up and then the one has been admin shut down. So we can do two IP interface brief once again. And uh, let me increase the fonts. Okay, so now as you can see now the ETA one has been shut down. And then two, which is the backup link, has been up. So show run interface e0 slash one to see what is there. So this is the primary link. What is on eta two? So this is the backup link. Okay, so we are good to go. So now let's check on Zavis how the script was executed. And it's basically just like running any playbook. So there is no difference from this. So we cannot we can as well check from Zavis. So we can just do Ansible playbook. Or oh, let's say Ansible playbook. I should have it. Yeah. So I'm running the script from the Linux server hosting service. And it's basically the same thing. There's no difference from here. It's the same output. We can confirm. You see, there's there is no difference. So Ansible will not perform any change because um it's the same thing that we have over here. So as you can see, it's the same output. As you can see, warning, blah, blah, blah. It's the same thing that we have here. No difference from it. So this is um, a simple trick I discovered from using Zabis and learning Ansible. So now the interface has been shut down and we are good to go. So even if, let's say the, links, the link comes up, so once the link comes up, it will take some time. And remember, it's in the admin shutdown, and there's nothing that uh, we can do. So we can as well also write a counter script to also enable the primary link when it comes up. So I think um, that would be it. Okay, so it's our interface up. So it's admin shutdown, so it's not even going to show show IP interface brief. Okay, so it's admin shutdown, as you can see. So the port is up, so we can check from the backup. Let's see this script. OP. Good. So this is core switch two. Let me bring it here. And as you can see, the port is upright, but um, show IP interface brief. So as you can see, the port is up from here, but then on our core switch, because that's where the app link comes to. 
is administratively down. Yes. So this is how to orchestrate Ansible using service. So thank you for watching this video and seeing my next video. And as you can see, we have our alert here. Bye-bye.